This is Lou Dobbs Tonight. News, debate, and opinion. An independent view. Here again, Kitty Pilgrim. The Food and Drug Administration tonight says it is closer to finding the source of the salmonella outbreak that has sickened more than 200 people. But the FDA says it still cannot confirm where the contaminated tomatoes came from. And as Luis Giavoni reports, the FDA still has not sent any inspectors to any farms. Health officials know the time frame the illnesses began in April, continued into May and June. They know the type of produce, Roma, plum, and round red tomatoes all off the vine. But as for where the produce was from? We are getting closer, um, but as of yet, there is no specific geographic location identified. There are so many states on the government's all-clear list, we can now identify the 14 states the FDA has not cleared. From Oregon in the northwest to Arizona in the southwest, parts of the Plains, New England, and Florida. The Food and Drug Administration confirms that nationwide, the vast majority of tomatoes consumed at the time of the outbreak came from Florida and Mexico. And yet... We have not sent investigators into any farms yet because we don't know where to send them. With one death and more than 200 illnesses, including at least 25 hospitalizations associated with the salmonella outbreak, farmers, consumers, and lawmakers are demanding answers. My constituents are frankly mystified why in the 21st century the United States does not have a food safety system on a par with Europe and many of the other industrialized countries where the FDA has the authority to recall bad food products where we can trace where the food products came from. Last year Mexico dominated the US tomato import market shipping in more than two billion pounds of tomatoes both field and hothouse far outpacing Canada's quarter of a billion pounds. And so, Kitty,